Now, what else causes loss of equal amounts of muscle and fat? Starvation. And that's how the damn medicines work. They're causing you to starve. Well, that's not the best way to do this, people. Also, only one-third of people who take GLP-1 analogs actually respond. Two-thirds don't. They don't tell you about those. They're only telling you about the responders. And as soon as you stop taking it, all the way comes rushing back plus some. Because you've only band-aided the problem, you haven't fixed the problem. Also, not such a great thing. And then finally, let me switch to my third hat, my public health advocate hat. Now, I did say these drugs work. 16% mean weight loss. True. Okay. If everyone in America who qualified for a GLP-1 analog got it, that would be $2.1 trillion to the healthcare system, which is currently $4.1 trillion. So that would be a 50% surcharge over what we're currently paying, and Medicare is going to go broke by the year 2029 anyway, without it. So you're going to put another 50% on top of that? How the hell are you going to pay for that for a 16% weight loss? Conversely, if we just got added sugar out of the diet, out of the American diet, to the level of USDA guidelines of 12 teaspoons of added sugar per day, no more, we could get a 29% weight loss and save $3.0 trillion. That's a $5.1 trillion swing for double the weight loss and no side effects. Which one do you think is better?